into this Wolves versus Arsenal live Premier League reaction. Can I please urge you to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. The best English football content coming your way daily during this national lockdown. And as well as that, go check out my Instagram. Go add up my Twitter and as well today's sponsors are Secure Creps. Of course, 100% authentic trainers Fast shipping, the best trainers in town. Go and add them up on Instagram at Secure Creps. Let's get into the video. Yes, lads, it's Tuvian Talks Foot here. And in today's video, we are back again with the Arsenal live match reaction. Today, we head to Molyneux to face a troubled Wolverhampton Wanderers side who are without a win in 2021. We are without a loss in 2021. So hopefully, I think. We will go another game without a loss today. My score prediction is Wolves nil, Arsenal 2, Bukayo Saka returns to the starting lineup, much to my um, surprise. I'm glad to see him back. However, I have got him on the bench in my FPL team as I did think he was injured. We missed him on Saturday against United where we lacked um, that final touch. Hopefully he can bring that to us today. Thomas Partey awaiting a beautiful, beautiful performance from him. But hopefully we can get the win in the Midlands today. Come on, you Gunners. Let's see what happens. Let's get into the live reaction. About 40 seconds into proceedings in the Midlands. And the Kyo Saka has already hit the post as we come forward once again with Cedric. A beautiful ball to uh, from Thomas Partey to Saka. Saka was uh, marked by the defender, just a whisker away from putting us one nil ahead. After less than a minute, strikes the post. Had a free kick um, cleared away by um, the Wolves' defence. There was a uh, fairly overhit ball in by Cedric Suarez. We have made by far the brightest start. Flicked on by Rob Holding. Saka's there. Oh, yes! What a strike from Bakayo Saka. You know what? Sod FPL. I don't even care. Fantasy football can have it. Bakayo Saka makes it 1-0 to the Gunners. After nine minutes, this kid is getting better and better. I think Alex Lacazette might be offside. That looks offside to me. Nobody marking Bakayo. 1-0 to the Gunners and we bloody deserve it. Come on! The goal has been disallowed. Like I said, Alex Lacazette did look offside. Craig Pawson um, got the VAR monitor in his ear. Yes, that is disallowed. The goal is chalked off. No goal. Wolves nil, Arsenal nil. We deserve the goal. That's disappointing. But we go again, we pick ourselves up and we push on and get the goal. Uh, half an hour in at Molyneux and it's been a very even game. We made the brightest start, like I said. Had an offside goal, but now Wolves growing into the game a lot 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 more as we come forward again a lot of our play has been started by granite jacka and ended by either nicolas pepe or bakaya saka pepe that's the goal oh! he is here nicolas pepe what a strike my son wolves nil arsenal one and i think it's fair to say we deserve it what a goal from the ice cold nico pepe it all starts from Wolves losing the ball. Awful, awful defending. Who wins it back? Lacazette to Pepe. Terrible defending by Nelson Semedo. Pepe just goes bye-bye Semedo. Shrugs him off, boosts him off, gets past Nemeth and smashes it past Patricio. Wolves nil, Arsenal won, one nil. Come on. And we are now approaching the end of what's been a fairly eventful first half. There's been an absolute wonder goal from Nicolas Pepe. There's been an offside goal right at the beginning. There's been missed chances, defensive mix-up, injuries, VAR madness, whatever. We have had it in this first half. However, just one goal, and that has come from the Ivorian. Nicolas Pepe on that left wing, working wonders once again. It was Mikel Artes' decision to play him there again. It didn't really work out on Saturday, let's be real. He missed a few chances. But today, as um, Little Miss Pippi Longstocking Goldilocks Adama Traore 
um, walks off in frustration there from Bern Leno and the referee. What a half it has been for Arsenal. I thought we've been superb man to man. We have been by far the better side. Wolves had their moment, had their period of time in the first half. They were doing okay as they come forward one last time. Oh my God, they, it's a goal. That's a penalty. Penalty to Wolves. Right on the stroke of half time. And that could easily be a red card for David Luiz and he's off. He is off. What was he thinking? What was he thinking there? Oh my goodness. He's got history of doing that. And he's fouled Willian Jose. What the hell was that for on the complete wrong side of him? Oh my God. And there is no deliberation about that one whatsoever. That was a goal scoring opportunity for Willian Jose. Well done, David Luiz, you absolute moron. What was that? What was that for? The referee was about to blow the whistle for half time. And now it's going to be Ruben Neves to take on Bern Leno from the spot. Oh my God. David Luiz is off. And now Wolves have a chance to equalise and make it 1 1 with the last kick of the first half. Please, Burn, save us again. We are counting on you. Thank God this isn't Runnison. I have to tell you that. Okay. It's the Portuguese, Ruben Neves, against Bern Leno. This is absolutely huge. This is huge. This is a massive moment in Wolves and potentially Arsenal season. Ruben Neves. Whistle is blown. Steps up. Leno, come on, save this. Scores. Great, great penalty. Wolves won, Arsenal won. Well done, David Luiz, you absolute clown. Now, honestly, apart from being level, one all with Wolves, that was a very, 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 very good first half from Arsenal. Hopefully, even though we're down to 10 men, that will, that will absolutely um, bruise us. We've got a foot in our mouth. It's a foot in mouth situation for Arsenal. Now, we need to just simply grab a foot out of the mouth as the camera shakes once again um, and get ourselves out of this mess. Just need a goal and then we can kick off from there. Hopefully, we get an early goal and we can't let Wolves in too much as look what happened when we just did right at the end of the first half. But second half is underway at Molyneux. Here, Pedro Neto, who's looked fairly dangerous for Wolves. Gonna switch it to Moutinho. <gasps> Who would have thought Gabriel Magalhães coming on for the second half? Who who is he replaced? I didn't even see who he replaced. Cool, oh, blimey. So we've added an extra man to our defence and we've conceded within three minutes of the first half. What a strike. I have to give it to him. It's his first ever goal at Molyneux. Leno has no chance. What a goal. Wolves 2. Arsenal 1. The pain of this club is... Oh, it really does baffle me why Alex Lacazette has been subbed off for... Um, Gabriel Magalhães. Okay, bring Magalhães on. Fine. I would have taken off Smith Rowe. Not our only recognised striker who's been one of our best players. Just no. I just do not see what was going through Arteta's mind. I, I don't believe it. I do not bloody believe it. And you won't believe Well, you already know what's happened. Burn Leno is off and we are down to nine men. What the hell? Is he thinking and doing? What on earth is this man thinking coming out of his box like that with his hands by his side and he just bashes the ball with his hand? What is he on? He is off. We're down to nine men and Runnison is going to replace him and it just gets worse and worse. Tonight is far from our night. Oh my goodness. This is painful. And there's going to be no deliberation about that one. That is a clear red card. Who Runnison will, will replace is up for debate. But we are down to nine men. And if we get anything out of this game, I will be absolutely flabbergasted. The decision has been made. It's a red card. And Mikel Arteta looks on in absolute disgust. We are without Bern Leno now. And Matt Ryan 
is has picked up an injury recently. Oh God! And the night just goes from bad to worse as Alex Runnison comes on and replaces Thomas Partey. I don't even know what to say anymore. Here comes Moutinho. Cleared away. I don't even know anymore. There's no way we're going to get anything out of this game. Craig Paulson's about to blow his full-time whistle and it's so, so painful and such a shame. We came into this game high on confidence, but it's all been blown out of the window. Um, and there, there is there is the full-time whistle. Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Arsenal 1. From the moment David Luiz got sent off, it was never really our game. Like the video, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'm not even going to bother raging. Check out the instant match reaction out now. Yeah, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, lads.